Okay, because March break is on its way, I will be with my kids the whole time. Uh, I figured I'd just leave you with some gameplay. Why not? It'd be fun, right? It'd be fun, it'd be fun, it'd be fun. So, there's the kingdom, of course, because I haven't played it in a while. So I'm going to do a little bit of that. It should look good, hopefully for you on YouTube. And, yeah, we just pretty much started, so all is good. This is on Suyu, by the way, so if I actually go and turn this off, you can see up there it says Suyu. Nothing major has happened yet, they've just rebranded the emulator, which is fine. I've heard a great deal about you from Zelda. Okay, let's skip this. Grab this. Exposition. Alright, I'm gonna stop saying that. At least it's not like a Sony game where every 10 minutes there's a cutscene. For the most pointless stuff. Which I can be thankful about. You know what was sad? There was a guy with a 4770, 4770K 4, complaining about performance of the emulator saying that he had a, uh, a slow time on Ryujinx without knowing that he lacked the CPU instructions for full performance. Fourth gen didn't have all the CPU instructions, only Skylake? Skylight, is that what it's called? 6th gen and older. 6th gen and newer have full support for the CPU instruction set, so that's why he didn't have his full performance. But he wouldn't shut up about it. It was so annoying. And my shoulder's still hurting, so I'm a bit aggravated, so... I didn't do good that... Yeah. Ah, oh, I still love this game. Uh, I have a custom field of view on. It's on to 90. That's how I play most of my games anyway. Uh, we also have a 1440p mod on, but... Uh, it kind of looks like 1440p. We are running at a lock 60 at the moment, which is nice. There will be drops because I don't have all the shaders built. I'm doing my best to do that, but... No luck, so the gameplay is going to look a little bit different than what you're used to. Okay. Here, I'm going to reduce some of the performance overhead by turning off Enable Preview, because I don't need to see myself constantly. Okay. So, the developers of Suyu are going to make it so you need firmware to play games, and you also need keys to install the firmware. So, it's Ryujinx like in a sense. They also want to focus on accuracy, which is important. They're trying to get their artifacts built for Windows and Linux and other things as well. But, uh, yeah, at least that's going somewhat well. Yeah, they're learning as much as they can. They're new at this. I mean, this is not their source code. And Yuzu never really documented much of how they did things. The code was always messy. So it's really hard to adapt to the source code. It takes a long time for certain people to just jump right in, but they got a lot of requests and applications for developers and stuff, so at least it should go pretty well. Wow. Lime, by the way, at the moment is just a fork of Citra with a new name. If anybody wants to contribute and continue where Citra left off, you're legally able to because Citra's source code is not tainted and not burned, so not much of it uh, is an issue. Well, none of it's an issue, actually. I'm going to try to push my luck and just make it over here. Ah, yeah, no problem. Let's really push my luck. There we go. All right. When I first played this game, I was just blown away. Still am. For what it is, it looks great. Most people crap on it all day long about it not looking good, but... It has an aesthetic about it that just shines.
Go away. That fight is not necessary. Honestly, I kind of wish they would have done more with these guys. They're so cool. I kind of wish they were in Breath of the Wild, too. Like, as a hint of what could have been. But I guess because Zelda changed so much. Just by being there. Time is a paradox. You screw with it, it screws back. Duh. You have a Nintendo Switch from a thousand years ago. Where am I? Garden of Time. Temple of Time invisible. Yep, Temple of Time is visible, not invisible. So this video is just like filler, I guess, for when I come back next week. I will be dropping another one as well. I'm going to try to record... A good 20 to 30 minutes of footage and then just upload it nice and dirty. I should have remembered that this week was coming and prepared better, but it is what it is. Alright, and let's jump. This way. This way we get to avoid all the enemies. Well, not all of them, but most of them. Oh, there's those bird things. I don't know why I just took that out, but I'm glad that I got that preloaded. Alright, we were almost up there. You know, seeing a new development team behind the Yuzu code really made me happy. And seeing their goals and everything put out in front it made me happy. It gave me hope, you know, for the future of the emulator. I heard about Nuzu, I was just like, nah, that ain't it. I don't got nothing. Why are you spinning so much? Thanks. Perfect. Alright, we got what we needed. Now, let's head forward. I mean, he should have looked at the arm and be like, Oh, you're Zonite. Okay, here you go. But no, they needed to, like, get you up to date on the combat. And I get that. Alright. Close the door. Yes, 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 yes. Am I able to turn off the tutorials? I forgot. They should ask, are you used to the gameplay? If you are, do you want to skip the tutorials? And I would have been like, yeah, I do. And then they would have been like, great, here you go. Huh? 
Ah. I messed that up. There. Oh no, it's doing that thing again. Yuzu has this weird little bug that uh if you open up a menu sometimes it ends up going down to like 30 fps and then it takes like forever to get back up to normal it's really annoying i hope that gets fixed along with the zero fps bug all right, where's this other guy? Where are you? You're right there. Crap, missed. This thing friggin'. Hey! You will not disrespect me like that. I'm kidding. I don't care. All right. Uh, well, we got weapons, which is good. Mm. Hm, they're talking about Grand Theft Auto 6 now. That's funny. I hope Grand Theft Auto 6 is going to be good. 5 was a little bit meh. I liked 4 though. But like an actual act of world. Our collision was awesome. The deforming was amazing. Yeah, we're just going to go straight up. Dash. Okay, I'm going to try to record something else now. I don't know, I miss doing videos on good emulators. Just didn't sit well with me the way the team were pirating things and doing things wrong. And they got caught for it in title key generation and more. Thank you for watching this. If you did, subscribe. I'll do more farther content on Suyu and Rayo Jinx and any other emulator that pops into mind. Thanks for watching.